Hello friends, welcome to the video number 40 for the Visual Basic for Applications in Excel series and well if you saw video 39 you already have this information well if you saw it to the, to the very end of the video uh, but well I wanted to make this video specifically, uh, specifically for this uh, application that display alerts uh, as okay let's just to this example again I'm gonna add one worksheet and then I'm going to delete it so if I run it I get this again this alert from Excel so the macro gets uh, paused um, then I have to interact with it and I say confirm you know what yes I want to delete it and then well the the temporary worksheet goes away but there are gonna be some cases where uh, you are not going to want the user or maybe even yourself if you are the user uh, to be interacting and having to uh, confirm that you want to actually delete the worksheet and you just want to do that automatically so the only thing that you need to do again is just to say application that display alerts equals to false but remember if you are messing up with these uh, options from excel just re-enable it um, so you have the display alerts false and then display alerts equals to true. Uh, so now we can see that I don't have any alerts anymore. Hopefully you can see a very fast link right here. And well, if you do a step by step, you can see there is a temporary worksheet. Then I'm going to activate the sheet one. Then I want, I'm going to delete the temporary worksheet. I don't get any kind of alerts from Excel. And then here I'm just going to re-enable the, the alerts and finish the subroutine. So, well, again, pretty, pretty simple. Just I wanted to show you or dedicate this video so that you can see how to, uh, again, disable the displaying of the alerts from Excel so that you can run the macro without any interruptions if that's what you need. Otherwise, again, you can just let it uh, without this... Uh, without messing around with the display alerts and well you're gonna get this alert this notification you're gonna have to uh, confirm that you want to delete it and well that's pretty much about it for this video so as always I hope that you find it uh, useful you find information useful information in this video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share and like the video and well I hope to see you on the next video video 41 well, we're going to see how to, uh, again, mess around with some options so that we can speed up the, uh, the execution of our macros, all right? Um, so, well, again, thanks all of you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.